Good afternoon. Today, we're joined by a very, very special guest from the music industry. Sir, what is your name and how do you spell it? My name is Harry Styles. You spell that capital H, A, double R, Y, space, capital S, T, Y, L, E, S. All right, Harry. Well, we all want to know, you have so many popular songs. How do you come up with ideas for them? To come up with the ideas for my songs, I, I take inspiration from a relationship I had years ago, back when I was in middle school, and, and that was the best girl I, I've ever been with. And, and I basically write the same song over and over and about how great our, our love was and all that. And I, I just try to keep it pretty corporate and, and uh, as, as they say in the industry, I, I try to keep it white girl. You know, that's really interesting. I, I know a lot of songs in today's industry are based off of past relationships and I guess your popular songs are just a prime example of that. So Harry, can you tell us a little bit about why you cross-dress? That we should all be free. Um, and if I'm being really honest with you, uh, Mr. Interviewer, it's just that women's, women's dresses just fit me so well. And, and especially, well, shall we say, I, I'm better at putting out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I cross-dress. You know, Harry, that's, that's a great answer, great ideals to hold. Now, kind of an off-track question, but if you could, who would be your dream dinner date as like a musician or an artist? So, my dream dinner date as an artist is, that's a good question. Well, I've, I've always had the biggest crush on Lady Gaga. Just her pop 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 poker face is just, it just gets me every time. And, and um, I, when I saw that A Star Is Born, it, it changed my life. And, and her courage to make some good songs and some really mediocre songs just, it speaks to me. And gosh, she is just so slay queen and I love her. I love her so much. You know, I really love Lady Gaga too. And, and as a young fan, you know, I, I'd like to think that me and Lady Gaga had a bad romance as we were playing that love game. And to you, I just, I just give an applause. So, on to our next question. Like I was talking about before, you have a lot of popular songs that are topping the charts, and could you sing for us? Well, of course I can sing for you. Um, I actually have my, my iPhone mini, my girl phone, right here, um, pulled up to my favorite song. It's a little bit I call As It Was, and and this interview is really important to me and I want to make sure everything is perfect so I'm going to I'm going to use some lyrics. <clears throat> Gravity's holding me back. I want to hold out the palm of your hand. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this part. Okay, so I I'm going to skip to this part. <clears throat> it's not the same as it was as it was as it was <clears throat> you know it's not the same i don't i like the fast part where it talks about internet um oh, okay here we go <clears throat> you know it's not the same go home get a headlight speed internet i don't want to talk about the way that it, it was leave america two kids follow her oh. i don't want to talk about who's doing it first hey oh Hey. <clears throat> As it was, you know it's not the same as it was. As it was. As it was. 
Now, I, I think that was probably one of my best performances, like, to be honest. And so, Mr. Interviewer, I really hope you enjoyed that. And, and to all you at home, don't be afraid to be yourself. And you can dress however you like. You can, you can sing my, my songs about watermelon. And I just, I just love people being themselves. And I thank you for giving me this opportunity to show you who I really am. Thank you. Harry, that was beautiful. I have never heard any performance as good as that. And for that, I am, I am speechless. I will never think of that song the same way. And you have just, you've made my day. So, all right. Well, thank you, Harry, for being on this interview and being so polite and answering all these questions. And we'll catch you next time.